Hi, this is Aprajita from Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. In this video, we will show how to capture Experience Portal Manager logs for Avaya or Experience Portal 6.0. We will begin by logging into Experience Portal Manager's Web Administration by giving admin user and its password as the login credentials. After logging in, our first step is to capture alarm-related data from the system. For this, we will click on Alarm Manager residing under System Maintenance. It opens up Alarm Manager web page for us. We have to first choose the server name for which we want to run this alarm report. Then you can choose alarms based their status, which are acknowledged, retired and unacknowledged. Let's choose unacknowledged for our report right now. Then we can specify the date and time for which we want to run this alarm report. And as we go down, there are multiple EPM process categories for which we can run this alarm report. I'm leaving all of them enabled and clicking OK. So this is the extensive alarm report of unacknowledged alarms on the system which we want to look at. Now as we are interested in downloading this alarm report, click on export button available on top right corner. It opens up this dialog box from which we can open or save this file. Let's click on save. This will help us in downloading this file on our desktop. First of all, we'll create a folder where we want to download this alarm report. I'll create a new folder by name EPM Logs here and I'll download this alarm report by clicking on button save. It says the download is complete. I'll close this window. Our next step is to capture the logs available on EPM server by clicking on Log Viewer under System Maintenance. This opens up Log Viewer web page for us, which is similar to Alarm Report web page. So choose a server name, then sort it by different criteria. Then choose the date and time for which we want to capture the alarms. So I keep last three days as my option. And down below, again, there are multiple categories for which we can capture the log report. I'll click on OK to run this log report now. So this log report page opens up which shows all the logs captured on the system for the categories and the other parameters that we had specified. As we are interested in downloading this log report, let's click on export button here. It again gives you option to open or save as we are interested in downloading. I click on save. I'll save it as log report. The download has been completed. So I'll close this window. The next step would be to run standard reports on the system and download those. So I'll click on standards residing under reports. This page allows us to run standard reports which are available on the system. In most of the situations for troubleshooting the issue we are interested in call detail report. So click on the button next to call detail report. So this call detail report page opens up. As there has been no call on the system, it shows total calls as zero. But let's see how to download this report. As we click on export button, it allows us the option to download in PDF format or XLS format. Let's choose XLS here. Click on save to save this file. It starts downloading the file on the desktop and is saved by name call detail. Let's go back to standard reports page. You can download any other report in the same manner as we did call detail report. Next step would be to download certain log files from the command line access of Experience Portal Manager. So log in there with root or non-root login and then change directory to dollar avaya home. List here, there is a logs directory which we want to access. So cd logs, list again, we need these installation logs to troubleshoot any issue. 
So download this file using any of the file transfer clients which are available to download files from a Linux platform to a Windows platform. WinSCP is one of them which can be used. I will not be downloading any of the files using these clients in this demonstration. Another directory that we have to access is Catalina Home. So change directory to Catalina Home, where Catalina Home is an environment variable pointing to the parent directory of Tomcat installation. So if we do pwd here, this is the directory it is pointing to. Now change directory to logs, issue command ls, these are all log files related to Tomcat. We would require to download Catalina related logs. So ls catalina.star. These are the files that we would need to download using any of the FTP clients. So all the log files that we have discussed in this exercise are required for troubleshooting any EPM related issue. So this completes our demonstration. Thank you for your time today. For any questions, comments or feedback, please write to mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. For any further details and related technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.